In a meeting, Bruce the newly appointed team manager said with a great pride, there are no fights, and no conflicts in my team. We are a happy team, like Bruce, do you also think, that no conflicts is the only criteria of a good happy team? Quarter on quarter Bruce's team could achieve the results that any mediocre team would get. I am surprised, most of the UR seem to be totally okay by this low standard, do you also feel, your team doesn't challenge the process and status quo? In a personal meeting with his boss, Bruce admitted that his people work as a group of individuals and do not often show concern about other members' work and challenges. Do you find your team avoiding accountability and having trust issues? If your answer is yes, what if I tell you that this can be changed if you follow the advice of a famous team guru, Patrick Lancioni? Book talks about five team behaviors and how can one lead his team successfully from that phase. Let's talk about five dysfunctions of a team model. Absence of trust is the foundation of a weak team. When the members of a team start to hide their weaknesses from each other they lose, the opportunity to build a strong level of trust on each other. Individuals don't talk much about their personal life and become highly vulnerable. Leaders are advised to be more open about their vulnerabilities. Share personal examples, your weaknesses, fears, and every story of your life that can inspire people to open up. Encourage them to share their part of the story in a team setting. When teams lack trust they fail to share or even see the passion about work. This pushes the members to avoid conflicts and even the necessary debates. Artificial harmony replaces passionate discussions on game-changing ideas and actions. Leaders are advised to aggressively look for instances where members choose productive conflict over artificial harmony. Push the members to be vocal about their ideas and perspectives. Without a productive conflict, it is impossible to get people's buy-in for decisions. Team members will buy into a decision and even be passionate about the task when they see their opinions and ideas as a part of such decisions. Providing clear guidelines and keeping decisions transparent become the utmost priority. Make sure that everyone's opinion is heard. If members are not committed, they can never have accountability. In a strong team, members don't hesitate to hold each other accountable. They know that this is not against someone personally. Define the standard that are needed for better results. Handle difficult issues and people directly. When you take the bull by its horn, it sends a strong message down that the team can't have low standards. When members cannot see team's vision as their own vision, they don't work together. Teams can overcome this dysfunction by making the team results supreme and clear. This becomes extremely important to reward the behaviors that take the whole team a step closer to the team's result.